Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a get ready with me and I thought it would be interesting to do this because I am actually going to a funeral as you can tell by the title. Now I'll say this before I go any further, I don't want this video to be disrespectful or insensitive or just anything like that. I just really wanted to make this video to show you what I found appropriate to wear to a funeral. Unfortunately it is something that we all eventually go through so I figured it would kind of help you guys out and to see what I would actually wear. So with all that said, I'm just going to go straight into it and get ready straight away. But the foundation that I'm going to be using is the Essence Stay All Day 16 Hour Makeup. Like it says, it's a long lasting foundation so I know that if I'm going to be crying or if anything like that, it's going to last through it so definitely something that's long lasting would work well. So I only use one pump as you can see and then I just pretty much spread it over my face. going in with my concealer and this one is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Brightener which is my new absolute favorite. I love this concealer. I can't believe I ever ever went without it but it's just the one with the little ball that a lot of people found really popular a long time ago but now I'm only just finding it. So I literally just apply this to under my eyes just like that so it kind of adds that kind of highlighted lifted look. to add some color to my face I'm just going with my favorite Astralis bronzer just to apply this on the cheeks I'm not contouring or anything I'm just literally applying the color like I normally do and then just kind of blending it out so it looks nice and soft Now over the top of my bronzer, I've really been liking this Essence blush in the colour, what is it, Heat Wave, which as you can see it has a pink on this side and an orange on that side, so it's a really cool gradient, but when you apply it, it just looks like a nice kind of soft coral, so I like to just apply that over the bronzer just to add a little bit more kind of colour. And then to finish up the cheeks, I'm now going in with my Essence highlighter, I feel like everything in this video is Essence. Didn't plan that, but anyways, my Essence highlighter, I'm just going to apply that to the cheekbones. Now I'm just going to do my normal eyebrow routine, so my sleek brow kit. I'm just going to use the wax to fill in my brows and make them a little thicker, because like I always say now, I have all stray hairs from where I'm growing in my brows, so I definitely have to fill them in now, otherwise I just look like this hairy mammoth, so I have to fill them in now. So apparently today's going to be a bad eyebrow day because that just took me forever. Um, now I'm going to apply my highlighter just under the brow bone just to kind of finish off and make it all look nice and polished and finished. Okay, now for eyeshadow, I'm just going to keep it really simple. I don't want to make a big statement with my makeup. I just want to kind of keep it really neutral and just, I don't want to make myself stand out. So what I'm going to do is just apply from the Naked palette this color Toasted. And it's kind of a purpley based brown, so it's still very neutral, but it has a little bit of color and a bit of shimmer to it. So that's the one that I'm going to apply all over my lid. But like I said, I just want to keep it really simple. I don't want to make a statement and kind of make myself stand out. And then to soften the edge of that shadow, I'm just going to take Naked, which is this third matte brown here. I'm just going to blend that on the edges just to soften it up a bit. But like I said, it's just really simple and neutral. Now 
Now I'm just going to go in with my eyeliners, so my sleek twist up eye pencil and my Maybelline Master Precise, which I nearly just dropped. I'm going to keep my winged liner kind of thinner than I normally do. Again, it's going to be still pretty bold for some people, but I'm just going to make it a little thinner. And I'm also only going to apply this to my tight line, not my waterline, just to... I don't want to go there looking too dark and too gothic because I'm pretty much in completely black clothing. So just something to have to define my eyes, but nothing that's too bold and too dark. going to apply my mascara and it would be a good idea to again use a waterproof mascara just for the obvious reasons but I really don't like waterproof mascaras I find they cake up my lashes they take forever to take off so I'm just going to stick with my regular one and brave it As for the lips, I'm going to stick again very neutral, but I'm going to go a little darker than I normally go. With this one, I'm going to go with more of a neutral kind of skin tone, beigey brown. That was a lot of descriptive words, but you can kind of see what I mean there. It's kind of more brown based, which is in the color barely there. But I'm also going to line my lips first with my NYX Natural Lip Liner, which I always use. So that's pretty much all of my makeup done. Again, I'm probably just going to straighten my hair a little more so it sits a bit better, but this is pretty well what I'm going to be wearing to the funeral. So like I said, just something very simple, nothing that stands out too much. And I think it's turned out quite nice. I'm pretty happy with how it's going to go. So now I'm just going to quickly do my hair and I'll show you the outfit that I'm going to be wearing to the funeral. Okay, so for my outfit, again, like my makeup, I wanted to keep it really simple and respectful. So I just have a plain black blouse on that just kind of ruches up at the arms so it still looks quite young I don't look too overdressed but it's still very kind of like fitted and black and respectful so I went with this shirt and then I just have some black jeans on just plain black jeans and then for my boots I don't know if you can see but they're just plain kind of black army boot style with gold straps I totally can't lift any higher than that so hopefully you can see as for my jewelry like you saw in the entire video I have this gold chain on just something kind of as a bold statement to break up all of the black I have a gold watch on from guests and just a really simple gold ring and then for my bag I'm going with my Colette barrel bag that I hauled a couple of weeks ago so just something that's all completely black and gold but anyways that's pretty much everything so hopefully you you guys enjoyed this get ready with me hopefully you guys enjoyed this and I will see you in my next video bye guys